Okay, u of zero equals? Good. Right answer. u of zero equals one. u prime of zero? 42. Okay. Okay, where were we? 42. Okay, who suggested 42? Okay, so you'll be, you'll, you'll be solving the linear system. Do you have, do you have Mathematico on you, Wolfram Alpha? I don't have a computer on me. You don't have a computer on you? What about your phone? Okay. So, what do we do? We plug this in, so we'll need the derivative. So let's write out, so this is our general solution right here. So it seems like we will also need the derivative because to plug this in. So each one will end up being a linear equation. So u of zero. Oh, wait, sorry. u prime we need of t equals. Okay, so now u of zero. I won't write equals, I'll just write colon. Here's what we'll get from u of zero. We will get 1 over 21 plus c1 plus c2 equals 1. Because that's what u of zero is. And when I take u of t and plug in zero, whatever I get should match the given initial condition. We should match what we know u0 was given to be. Okay, so we're going to, so that will determine c1 and c2. From u prime of 0, we have minus 5 over 21. This is lovely. Plus 2c1 plus 4 c2 equals 42. <laughs> okay, so the one remaining skill that you need to display is writing this in matrix form. Okay. All right, Sergey. It was your, it was your. Okay. So, whatever this is, right, we'll give you C1 and C2. And then when you plug it back into the general solution, that's your final answer for those initial conditions. So, when you have just the differential condition, that can only give you the general solution the infinitely many equations that satisfy this differential condition. Once you're given a pair of initial conditions, no matter what they are, and you can tell that I could have chosen any two numbers whatsoever and nothing would have broken down, because the only time something like this breaks down is when the matrix is singular, but the matrix does not depend on the initial conditions. Only the right-hand side depends on the initial conditions. Uh, you will always have a single C1 and a single C2. Okay, and that will, be, and so then the solution is unique. If you have an OD paired with the right number of initial conditions, generally speaking, you have a unique solution. 